<laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Gonna start my day off with a smoothie. A smoothie blend I like to call whatever I can find around. Half a mandarin. Some blueberries can go. Beetroot? My god. Apple. Put way too much beetroot in that. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I found a baby bird the other day. I, my cat caught a baby bird. I saved the baby bird, but it happened while I was making a pirate costume. Can I keep this bird for my pirate cosplay? <laughs> because it just flew onto my shoulder. A lot of people say that they don't believe the universe has any purpose or reasoning, but how can you say that when the universe provided me with a bird to sit on my shoulder when I was making a pirate costume. Anyway, I wasn't really sure what to do with this bird. I knew where its nest was kind of because I've seen the mum and dad flying around before and I could see them but they couldn't get down to help it. I was, tr I was putting it on the roof and then the mum was coming down but she wasn't really doing much to help. This idiot here just climbed on my roof, didn't I? To put him in his nest. It is a bird. Climbed on my roof to try and give him to his nest. Burnt all my feet on the hot roof. He got his nest jumped out again and landed in our yard. He is. Yes, he is an idiot. Oh! Whoa. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> At one point I thought I might have to take care of it, so I was researching what to do. Turns out this bird was a blackbird, which is actually considered a pest. I was in the forums of a bird website, things got very heated, because people were like, how do you take care of a baby blackbird? And other people were like, you don't take care of them, they're pests, you euthanize them. Then they were like, how can you take a life like that? It's a life, no matter if it's a pest. Other people were like, introduce species. It got really out of hand, and very soon it wasn't even about birds anymore. I just wanted to find out if I needed to buy a syringe or something. I ended up going on this philosophical journey about the morals of what it's like to be a human living amongst nature. You may have noticed that I'm wearing a leather trench coat. This is not what I normally wear when I make breakfast. It's just that I don't need this trench coat anymore. I was going to go do Donate it to Goodwill. I thought I'd give it one last wear. This wasn't a part of my normal clothing attire. It was actually part of a costume, most notably a Satan costume. Uh, one time actually in that costume I got onto the local news because I was protesting some religious protesters, kind of doing an anti-protest, and me and another English comedian who was dressed as Jesus just kind of went there and annoyed them. Uh, the news thought it was pretty funny and they interviewed me. Sometimes you just be best to laugh at these things. Yeah, we did use comedy. They didn't think it was comedy, really. We made up. Yeah, in, in real life, we're actually friends. The media exaggerates it. Okay, this is all the stuff that's gone to Goodwill. Now there's going to be a couple of shots that are arty of me going and putting it in the donation bin. <laughs> I was gonna tell you something about the river, but it's too windy. I'll tell you when I get home. The thing I was gonna say before about that river is I wanna get a kayak soon so I can kayak around that river chasing dolphins because there's dolphins in there, I see them all the time. Someone said to me that if you get a kayak, you might have to get a life jacket. But the thing is, you can swim in that river without a life jacket. So it's like, can I get in the river without a life jacket? Yes. Okay, what if I climb out of the water to get onto something that's not in the water, like a kayak? Well, then you have to put on a life jacket. And why do I have to wear that? In case you fall in the water. And if I do fall in the water, I can take it off, can't I? Yes, you can. What the hell? Vlogging is really weird. There's a term in science called the observer effect, and basically it means that the act of observing something often physically changes what it would do. The very light that you shine upon the thing that you're trying to watch will actually change what the thing does. The light will change it. It wouldn't have done the same thing if you weren't watching it. Kind of the same with vlogging. When you shine a light on yourself and your lifestyle, you kind of see things that you might not have seen if that light wasn't being shot on you. So you begin to change. That's pretty damn deep, man. I just came up with that just then. If someone doesn't quote me in the comments section of a Casey Neistat video, I'm going to be really mad. I'm going rock climbing now. That was aggressive. 
I cannot wait to get home and eat some damn food. I'm reading this book at the moment, it's called Skimming Stones and Other Ways to Be in Nature. I can't remember the title. It's really good, it's just about these two guys that basically go out into the forest and do a whole bunch of stuff and then talk about how it helps you reconnect with nature. Anyway, there's this one bit where they're building igloos and he talks about how tired they were for building igloos and lugging around this ice all day and how that when they relaxed that night, it was true relaxation. He basically says, you can't actually relax unless you were working hard prior to the relaxing. Relaxing only really gets its value because it is in opposition to physical labor, hard work. I think it's the same with eating. Lately, one of my favorite things is just that insane hunger you get from like going on a huge hike or lifting heavy stuff for a long time. Most people just eat because the clock is at the time where they usually eat, which is nuts. Food is energy, and if you haven't used energy, you don't need more food. You wouldn't do that with a car. You wouldn't just say, every day at 10 a.m. I fill my car up with petrol. Yes, but what if you haven't driven anywhere the previous day and your car already be full and you put more petrol in, it's just gonna overflow and just your car's gonna get effed up. Well, it doesn't matter because it's 10 a.m. so I have to. No, Crocs are the best skateboarding shoes. Skateboarders said Crocs are clearly <laughs> the best skate. <laughs> Tony Hawk! Oh, I thought you were going to... Anyway, in conclusion to the vlog, vlogging is a weird thing to do. It's hard to make things look natural that aren't, like you have to set up cameras to make it look like you're just walking past, but really then you have to go get the camera. Also, you film a lot of stuff that you can't quite find a place for in the vlog, and then you, you cut it out. But I'm gonna put it in now. <laughs> I'm Mario! I'm Mario! <laughs> I might keep doing vlogs. Jump in the comments and let me know. Is it bad to jump in the comments and let people know? Keep in mind, if you do go into the comments and say it is bad, you're a hypocrite because you're doing it. Okay.